What's going on, y'all, man? So today's video, I want to talk about Ebony K. Williams. I wasn't really going to touch on it, but this this topic is what this channel is about. Breaking away from toxic traditions. And what Ebony K. Williams is electing to do is a toxic tradition within her own family and her own dynamic. Her electing to become a single mother after growing up in a single parent household and the effects that it did to her that she vocalized about is is mind blowing to me that she's willing to do this again so in this video i'm going to share a clip with you guys from the tamron hall show when ebony k williams was on there also i'm gonna read a instagram post that she shared when she found her father and the stuff that she went through but before we get into that man here on Broken Traditions, we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you're into that kind of content, you have that kind of mindset, please join the movement. And by joining the movement, you can subscribe to my YouTube, you can support my Patreon, you can now follow me on my new Rumble. I'll put a link in the description for the new Rumble channel. And you can find me on Instagram and threads. I'm trying to build an online community of like-minded people who want to break away from toxic traditions. Also, in the comment section, I leave a link to my website. And on there, you can sign up for my newsletter so I could directly contact you guys when I do live streams, giveaways, and when I post content. I appreciate y'all. All right. So, Ebony K. Williams is being a single mom by choice, as she calls it, right? I see all the videos of people saying how either, you know, go girl, this is your your, your life, do what you do as you please. I see the videos of saying how, you know, you didn't wanna date a bus driver and now you wanna be a single mom. I wanna go a little bit deeper in this video. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper because I'm not seeing this kind of content out there. And this is exactly what Broken Traditions is about. So. When it comes to Ebony K. Williams, she did not grow up with her father, right? Her father was not in her life. This is something that she opened up about um, on Real Housewives of New York. And it's something that she opened about, you know, on her social medias and just talking about this on platforms. So first, I want to share a clip with you guys from the Tamron Hall show. And this is Ebony K. Williams sitting down with Tamron Hall speaking about what she had to go through to find her father and the relationship that her and her father have at that current state when that episode was recorded. Check this out. Like from that, you've gotten to a very deeply personal part of your life out there regarding your father. Yes. Um, you'd gone on a search for your father. In fact, my cousin, when she learned you were on the show, she said, I wanna know what's happened. She located her father. How are things going? Yeah. That really hit a heartstring. You did not um, have contact with your father. You did not have a relationship, and then on public TV, yeah. you find him. I find him uh, with the help of an incredible genetic investigator, Tamron, and for the first time, you know, I know the name of my father. I know who this man is. <sighs> um, and I can't tell you how much that does to affirm a young girl, because inside I think we're still all kind of young girls. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been wonderful. I, I want to be vulnerable and transparent. Um, I haven't been able to meet him nor really continue much conversation with him at this point. So you still haven't had a face-to-face? -face? Not had a face-to-face, -face, have not had dialogue beyond the initial call, um, wow. which we saw in the season. Um, it's his process. Um, Does he want to meet you face-to-face? -face? I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not sure. Um, but and I, I say that, and it's hurtful for me to say that mm -hmm. to you, but I think it's important for everybody who is in, uh, motivated and inspired to go on this journey through my revelation to know that that's a part of the journey too, is that it's not a promised rainbow fairy tale ending, um, but for me, it's still been worth it. Um, I have two incredible sisters who I talk to all the time, um, and that's been amazing, mm -hmm. and I'm still hopeful. Well, um, and it's one of the benefits. We talked yes. about the cost of fame. The benefit of fame is that you had this huge platform yes. and you had access to someone who could help you find your father. And she did. And oh. so many people, Tamron, have said that they have now picked up the phone, picked up the uh, computer, and they're going on their journey too. And I think mm -hmm. that's so beautiful to help destigmatize yeah. that. I agree. Thank, Thank you for you. coming on. Thank you, Tamron. And As you can see, you know, she says she's hurt you know, by the experience that she went through as a young child, not knowing her father. And, and still to this day, her father really not having a relationship with her. But she got to meet 
some other siblings. She didn't have a real relationship with her father at that time. <sighs> that's sad. That's sad. And, you know, that's heartbreaking. Then I want to go to this post right here, right? Let me share this post with you guys. So this post was actually, is actually on Ebony K. Williams' page. So if you go to her page, you can see this post. This is what she said. This little girl never knew who her daddy was. Not a name, a picture, or address. No father to say he was proud at her college graduation. No father to walk her down the aisle at her wedding. Absolutely no idea about the entire half of her identity. And therefore, she was incomplete. Her mother was and is amazing. But not even the best mother can take a place of a father's love and protection. It was a void that persisted for 37 years. I presume I simply did not deserve a dad. It made me feel illegitimate and inadequate. Despite the academic achievements, beauty pageant crowns, and professional success, I struggled to feel enough. I was a fatherless child and it hurt. And just like that, I finally know who my father is. I know his name. I know his lovely smile. I know his debonair style of dress and his gentle voice. This man can never go back and raise me, but simply knowing who he is and in knowing and knowing my beautiful and fantastic sisters has been one of the most incredible blessings in my life. If you have always known both your parents' identity, I hope you say a little prayer today because to know exactly where you come from is a blessing from God. So as you can see, she has all these accomplishments that she talked about marriage professional career beauty pageants and she still didn't feel enough because she didn't know her other half why would she want to recreate that feeling for her new child by going through this why would you want to recreate a toxic tradition of what you went through that void that need to be filled is real i'll give you an example a personal example with myself my father died when i was 12 didn't have a father since 12 until right now, right? And I remember when I was dating my ex and her father became like a father figure in my life. I was so longing for her father. I was in this toxic relationship with this woman because my relationship with her father, because he kind of took me in as a son. And when he passed away, that's when I really realized, like, I don't want to be with her. You know what I'm saying? I was with her because of her father. Not because of her. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now when I came to the grips and reality of that, I'm like, damn. I was looking for a father all this time. And Ebony K. Williams is saying right here, I'm looking for a father. I, 37 years of her life, she felt like she didn't deserve a dad. And now she's doing this again to her child. Seeing this man, seeing her reaction on Tamara Hall talking about what she had to go through to find her father and how it was a blessing to be a celebrity to go through this because she got the resources. Then also seeing this Instagram post, I don't get it. I don't get why would she do that? What's your thoughts on this, man? How you feel about this? Knowing this part of the information, you know, you you de you decided to be a single mom by choice. Like I said, this is a toxic tradition we need to break away from. You know, being a single parent is not easy, but she elected to the, to do this. I don't know. This 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 really heart heartbreaking to read all that and repeating the cycle voluntarily. Not like she got pregnant then something happened between her and the child father or perhaps the child father might have died in some tragic way no she's electing to raise a, a child in a single parent household so all those questions she had for herself she's now passing on to her child appreciate y'all man if you found value in this content you like this kind of content please subscribe to the channel i'm on the grind to get 10,000 subscribers so if you guys want to subscribe i greatly appreciate that that shows support and you also helping me towards my goal all right Till next time, peace. Real Rap Ryan is signing off. All right, later. One. Also, if you like this kind of content, please consider hitting subscribe and check out this other video 
YouTube suggested. I didn't suggest it. YouTube did. And YouTube do not lie. All right, peace.